Welcome back to Arise Exchange. Experts say it's just a matter of time before all magazines will go entirely electronic. 45% huh. of tablet owners read digital magazines or newspapers so far, and that is expected to rise in the very near future. Our next guests have found a way to stay up on a down market as publishers of Pink Magazine and a new publication in the works. They so join us now to tell us all about it. Welcome the publishers of Pink and Elite Magazines, Mika Claxton and Mecca Moore. Hello. Okay, Thank Mika, you for Mika and Mecca. Yeah. Mika and Mecca. Yep. I love this. <laughs> well, you, <laughs> to say the least. Yeah. Now, you you sure. guys are obviously a lot younger than me. I'm feeling so old up here. Sorry. Look, I, I like newspapers. I like books. I like things that are tangible. What's we going do too. on? Well, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, it's, it's not going that way. It seems like everybody's looking at stuff you know on what? computers. I, and... I think it's really the content, uh -huh. you know? You have to put together something that people want to read and want to travel and read, and they're going to pick it up and read it. Okay, but you can travel and read with a magazine or a book, as I used to do going from airport to airport with, with paper in my hands. Yeah. But true. it's not really happening. Well, I think a huge yeah. misconception about what we do is it's not just about the magazine itself. We right. created a full 360 moment, a lifestyle. So we connect not only with our consumers, but also with brands. So while a lot of magazines are really relying on ad sales, we're relying on our partnerships with these brands Absolutely. to create a full moment for our consumers and our readers. So basically, yeah. your people, you're, you're, you're basically focusing on what consumers want. Perhaps other publications are not doing the same thing. Oh, no, yeah. Absolutely. We don't really have advertisers, like she uh -huh. said. You know, we have brand partners. You okay. know, we create an experience that they want to keep coming back for. So mm -hmm. that's what it's been. Yeah. What are magazines and newspapers doing to be competitive? I mean, if, if they're not being sold at the newsstands, they, they obviously have to find another way to make money. Mm -hmm. If they are e-magazines or they're e-books, there must be a big market in it. There must be a big ka-ching in that. There's somehow. definitely a big ka-ching there, <laughs> but I think with say. us, the, the brand that we created, Elite, Elite is very, uh, in new school terms, you can't sit with us. Yeah. It, it's for the, it's an, a magazine we created specifically for athletes and people that are within that, that lifestyle. lifestyle. Mm. Um, very small uh, distribution, really small circulation, and if you're not a part of this life, then you can't get so, it. Okay, so I have to ask you, as mm -hmm. publishers of, of, of this type of venture here, you're saying it's a small circle of people, mm -hmm. then how do you make your money? All from our partnerships yeah. with brands. We have great relationships with American Express, great relationships with like Ciroc Ultra Premium mm -hmm. Vodka, Armande Brignac. A lot of these large brands are willing to exactly. partner with us I mean, based off of the, the people exactly. that we work with, the yeah, consumers so that, we can bring point. in. People pay to be you know, people work actually for five, ten years and always say to themselves, you know, if they have a new line or new whatever, if only, you know, LeBron could have, you know, had this for his son to wear, you know? Right. We actually put you in that position. Right, dead center in front of these athletes, in front of these influencers. And we are them ourselves. Yeah. Mika's husband, yeah. Speedy Claxton, is a oh, NBA yeah. championship. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I know who he is. Yeah. You know, absolutely. So we, I'll you tell know, him hello. <laughs> we've been really lucky and, and really blessed. And we've been able to do really, really well. Pink is doing amazing. We, we've just got through our terrible twos. We're on a year three. Sure. Um, Elite is our baby. We're launching it this summer. And we're, we're super excited. The brands love us. Yeah. The, our consumers love it. So there's a lot in the works for Pink and Elite. You know, yeah. just to touch back though and what he was asking with the you know is there a big profit in the e-market mm -hmm. I think the real thing with that is it's very low cost to start mm -hmm. so anyone can do it everyone's trying if you have an iPad or you know a MacBook you could put together a magazine you just need the good content. Uh, you know. And it doesn't cost a lot to start. Yeah. Of course, you got all the fans. Of course, so Alvino Austin, our executive easy. producer, is, is, is a big fan of yours. But yeah. i got to ask you, in, in terms of the startup of something like this, mm -hmm. because I, I have an outside business of my own, and, oh. and I'm looking for, you know, extra investors. It's hard to find investors. Yeah. How did you find the money to start this? If somebody wants to do what you're doing, what would you suggest and advise them to do? Well, we did it a little bit differently. We created a series of activations with mm -hmm. brands, and that's Absolutely. where our money came from. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we basically raised the capital through events, through, exactly. through partnerships. We created we a series we of kind of girls' night events. We created just a series of you different know, sports things. Sports-related. Sports-related you know, sports related related. events. Brands really bought into yeah. that. We then took that money and then created yeah. the physical print publication. It's a lot different, though, because I am part of the lifestyle mm -hmm. with elite specifically right. so it's easier for them to like oh, okay great I see you know her. I know She's you hang out with this person yeah. right. you are friends with these people so you'll bring them to the events you know Mecca's been in the fashion and publicity world for how many yes. years you know yeah. it's very easy you know these people are not just you know clients they're friends yeah you know so it's a lot easier for us if you were to start a different kind of okay. magazine 
and, and you wanted to make money at this mm -hmm. uh, going online, <laughs> outside of what you do, what would you suggest somebody to look at and to go into? You know yeah. what I'm going to say. What are you going to say? Uh -oh. Kids. Kids? Well, yeah, she's been stressing. Oh, my goodness. So I don't have any children. Mika has two beautiful babies. She's been yes. stressing me about us get, getting a kids magazine going. I actually was the publicity director at Right On and Blackbeat. I don't know if you remember them before they closed. And it's a really huge I'm market. too old. Oh, <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. It's a really yeah. huge market, so I think we've thought about it. We've considered playing around with a few things. I, I stress to anyone that's looking to start a book, whether it's print online, really focus on your content, but make sure you have these partnerships to begin Absolutely. with. Whether you're relying on advertisers, whether you're wearing on brand partners, just make sure you have them in place before you get things rolling. All right. Now, I just want to ask one that's question. For those of us who have been around yeah. since the A-Track, we've got less than a minute left, but mm -hmm. are, are we, uh, newsstands will still exist in some form or fashion, won't yes. they? We hope so. Yes. We're we hope we're, so. We're print. So we, we need right. them to exist, but yeah, we're sure. fighting to keep them there. And, you know, again, yeah. we've been been blessed to kind of keep our little engines going. So I'm sure a lot of other publications are able to figure it out as well. Okay, and I want you to tell Speedy that I could actually take him one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> you might now. Yeah, His knee is all... Stop <laughs> it. Speedy's my best friend. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I'll shake him, I'll shake him like I put the salt on my steak. My daughter is giving him a little... Stop <laughs> it. Stop it. Love you, Speedy. I'm just playing. Love yeah. you, Speedy. Yeah, we love you. Mika, Mecca, thank you so much thank for joining us. Thank you so much for having us. You guys are so cute. Thank you. I still appreciate that. I, I'll still shake him like I could have <laughs> my steak. All right, anyway, Alvina says she loves you as well. No, Alvina's amazing. You got it. Uh, listeners were out in full force at the annual Met Ball in New York and find out how much it costs just to get in when Arias Exchange returns. Stay with us.